hole. Get in the hole. Oh, damn. Oh, that, that's a... Oh, look at me. Oh, my. Oh, that's a phone. I'm telling you. I'm you. I'm it's the foam. It's the foam. It's the foam. <laughs> How's the barbecue? Friggin' awesome. Danny? I love it. I love it. I've been enjoying it for years, and I'm glad you guys love it. Yeah. Mitch? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. For me, best barbecue I've ever had. Morning guys, it's about 6.30 Friday morning here at the Rankin House. Um, Friday morning, my favorite times. Um, it's golf day. Me and my buddies get together and we play golf every Friday morning. So I thought I'd take you through my routine and I'm gonna take you out on the golf course today so that you can uh, see a little golf. So um, this ought to be a lot of fun. Anyway, um, right now I'm getting ready to uh, pull my coffee out of the microwave because I warmed it back up and uh, have a little coffee this morning. Then I'm going to take a shower and get ready and uh, we'll head to the golf course. Hang in there, guys. We're going to have a lot of fun today. This should be fun. All right. See you in a little bit. Okay, guys. Just got out of the shower. Uh, dressed. Getting ready to go play some golf. Um, it's been raining. So, don't know if we're going to get it all in today. But we're going to try. Um, we'll see what happens. So... There's a sleeping wife. There she is. Anyway, getting ready to go meet my boys. I'll uh, be back with you guys as soon as I get started. Or as soon as I get on the road, okay? Okay, guys. Getting ready to leave the garage. On my way the course. You see my trash can. I had to take out the trash today. Garbage day here in the neighborhood. So, anyway, getting ready to go. Anyway, turn the camera around. Uh, this is my, this is the neatest thing, this new camera that we have. It's like a GoPro. Um, pretty cool camera. So, we had to change courses today. We called the course that we usually play and uh, they were closed because it's been raining here in Houston for the past couple of days. They said they might open at nine o'clock but we didn't want to take a chance on that. So we're, uh, we changed courses, called another course. It's just a little bit further away, not much. And uh, they said that they were open. So we're gonna be headed to that course. And uh, looks like maybe a little bit of rain in the forecast today also. So don't know if we're going to get this whole round in, but we're going to try. It's a uh, car path only, which means that uh, we'll be in the golf carts, but we can't drive the carts on the course. We have to keep them on the path and uh, walk out to our ball whenever we're going to hit the ball. So um, it's going to take a little bit longer today than normal unless it rains and if it starts raining we're probably going to quit early so anyway um before i go to the golf course so uh since i'm going to play golf normally i don't eat breakfast in the morning i've been on this diet um kind of a keto diet but um it's a dirty keto it's not hardcore and over the past oh i'd say three weeks i've managed to lose about eight or nine pounds which is pretty good for me I'd like to, uh, I'd like to drop about maybe, maybe another six. I'd like to get down to about, well, <laughs> I'd like to get down to about 215, which lets you know about where I started. Uh, 215 or 210 would be good for me, considering my bone structure and how big I am, so. 
<coughs> anyway, um, gonna stop by my favorite place, uh, Whataburger. Gonna get a little breakfast taco this morning. No need to worry, though, because by uh, oh, 10 o'clock, I will have burnt that off, so walking around on this golf course, so anyway, hey, we got to show you something, guys, while I'm going down the road. We've got a little bit of what they call that African dust in the air, Sahara dust, I'm sorry. So it's hazy this morning, but it's not hazy because of fog. It's uh, just hazy because of that African dust, that Sahara dust that's blown in. Um, they have a alert out this morning for people that um, have breathing problems or asthma or whatever. So uh, it's supposed to be out of here <clears throat> by, I think they said maybe... Sunday, so we'll see, we'll see, um, maybe so, maybe no, anyway, <clears throat> I'll be at Whataburger here in just a few minutes, get my little breakfast taco before I go play golf, and uh, anyway, this is near to where we live. Some of you that have watched our blogs before probably recognize this area. Um, because the HEB is right over there. And uh, right over here to the right, just a little bit. We'll be at the Whataburger. <laughs> but sitting here at the red light right now looks like I'm going to get a little bit of an opening here, so I'm going to take it. Got a little bit of construction going on here. Big trucks in front of us. I hope they're not going to Whataburger. Ah, looks like I'm okay. So, I really like this new little camera I got. I'll tell you guys the name of it. Um, at the end of the uh, blog because to be honest with you I don't remember it's similar to a GoPro um, it's cool I like it a lot so I'm playing with it today to uh, do my golf thing and see how it responds on the golf course see what kind of video we can get on the course so here we are at the Whataburger getting ready to order. I'm hungry. Yeah, give me uh, two bacon, egg, and cheese taquitos. Two bacon, egg, and cheese taquitos? Yeah. Okay, did you want some meals? No, no, just the taquitos. Is that going to be to order then? Uh, that's it. Okay, two bacon, egg, and cheese taquitos. Uh, give me one second, sir. Thank you. So I'm in line at the Whataburger. And <clears throat> waiting to get the food. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get my food up here. And I'm going to head to the golf course. So um, I will... Put you back on as soon as we get up towards the golf course and uh, so you can see where we're going to play and uh, just hang in here with me for a couple of minutes and I'll see you guys back in a little bit, okay? Okay guys, turning into the Great Woods subdivision. Uh, it's about 10 minutes from my house. It's really cool because where I live, there's probably about three golf courses within 10 or 15 minutes of my house. Uh, this is one of them. So, um, nice subdivision here. Been playing this golf course with my buddy Mitch for um, 
20 years, uh, 20 or more, and um, doesn't look like there's going to be a big crowd today. Looks like the rain's kind of scared everybody off a little bit. Normally, it'd scare us off a little bit too, but the issue with us is we like to play golf, and uh, after being in quarantine for uh, week after week after week, uh, you kind of go, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. So here I am, we're at the uh, Great Wood Golf Course. Um, and uh, I'm going to go in and pay. Because um, nothing is for free. So I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see me. So I tell you that I'm going to put my mask on. Because in um, there's been a little bit more of an outbreak here in in uh, in Texas, and the new rules in uh, Fort Bend County, where I live, are if you go inside of a place of business, uh, you have to have a mask on. So since I've got to go pay, I'm going to wear my mask. So anyway, I'm going to go pay, and then I'll be back out to the car and get my clubs and everything, and. Uh, See you guys in a little bit, okay? Hang in there. Be right back. So this is my boy Mitch. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna golf today with Dean and Danny. And uh, I'm gonna do some GoPro shots or some of these shits. I'm sorry, this isn't a GoPro. I'm gonna do some shots today and some video today with us golfing. Mitch is just pissing and moaning about not being able to see me and Geraldine sing. <laughs> Bitch, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so Dean, you're on video now. Where, where is your boy? As usual, he's late. So this is our buddy Dean, and uh, me and Mitch and Dean are sitting here waiting on uh, the Shaw of Sugar Land. <laughs> His Majesty is running late. His Highness is running. His late. Highness is running late. So, uh, so nothing new about that. Some yeah. bitches late all the time. He has a side job as a taxi driver. <laughs> So when he gets here, we'll video him so you guys can check him out. So I'll take, be taking some video of us today. And uh, don't mind the language and uh, don't mind anything that's, uh, that's said because there will be some things said today. I just want to apologize beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, uh, we're all going to be on camera today <laughs> at various times. So Danny's going to apologize up front for any language that we may... Uh, that we may use Only on with the bad shots. <laughs> Only on the bad shots. On the good shots, I'm very well behaved. Oh, he is, for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Danny, did you try to call Mitch this morning on his cell phone? Well, first we had to send the smoke signal. You're right. Because, You're right. Um, yeah, uh, Mitch, tell us where your cell phone is. And then we had some out there in the press <laughs> 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 I finally was able to get him with the telegram. Oh my gosh. Said, Morris code. She walks up to my cell phone. She, she says, Papa, I'm calling you. I said, are you getting me, baby? You won't answer. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I tell her when it says that. I know. Papa, you're not answering. So the big joke here is that Mitch has had a cell phone for about 10 years or more. Never turned it on. Obviously doesn't like modern technology. So anytime we want to get a hold of Mitch, we have to call home, which usually means that Kathy's going to answer the phone. Which, if it was the old days, we say we're just sending up smoke signals, Mitch. Come on. Danny Hyatt on the tee box. I think it came back in though, huh? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you're right. I didn't think about that. 
I get a name right. Mitch Richardson on the tee box. Nice shot. Woo! Good ball. Here you go, bro. Now we got the man himself. No, no, no. Now we got the man himself, Wayne Rankin. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I couldn't get the video to start on mine. I clicked on it and it kept. Shallow, dude. Uh, all right. With the point, Mister. All right. Here we go. Nice shot. Right down the middle. Split the fairway. Shot. Thank you, Danny. Uh huh. Okay, Mr. Dean Murphy on the tee box. It's okay, Dean, good ball. That play is right there. Hybrid Hyatt, the Shaw Sugar Land. Not bad. All right, headed to the ninth hole. Looks like rain may be coming, but we're gonna get in as much as we can. Then we're gonna go to Danny's cousin's place and have some barbecue. Life is good. Life is good. Any day of golf is, my, my worst day of golf is better than my best day at work. No, I had a uh, bogey. Yeah. Oh, that wild, that thing. So no, here we are on the ninth tee box. Yeah, you got it. No, it's perfect. I mean, you pulled it out. It's you gonna have to Danny Hyatt, the Shaw of Sugar Land. That's a nice ball, Danny. 
That's a nice ball. Can we just go up and lay mine up there where yours is? <laughs> Ryan Squirrel can find that, nuts once that's in a right. while. That's right. That's right. All right, Mitch. Good ball. That's the old Mitch ball. All right, now comes the long driver. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now comes Mr. Rankin with Mitch's driver. So, you know, look. So for the first time, Mitch is actually, uh, you know, rooting for you. <laughs> it's my driver. Driver. Oh, you're okay. Did it come down? Yeah, it came right down. Yeah, you got a you got a shot. Hey Mitch, pull the cart up a little when Danny comes up. Get a shot of Dino. Nice and smooth, Dean. Just like that. That ain't gonna hurt you. Good ball, bub. Good ball. We suck, but we have fun. Yeah. Sounded good. That sounded sweet. We're not any good, but we have a lot of fun. I'm gonna make a pitch shot from the back side of that door. Can you?
actually isn't bad. First putt short, second putt right in, par baby, par. Not bad, Danny. Good shot, Mitch. That's a good looking putt there, Dean. Danny, get you one. Thank you, Bob. Right, well. Good yeah. so no okay, so we're done. Hey, Mitch, how'd you do? <laughs> it's <laughs> so Danny, me and you shot 83s, dude. Nice, go, baby. baby. Nice, baby. Right, let's go eat some barbecue. Yeah, we'll go eat some barbecue. barbecue Harlem Road Barbecue. Dean, do you know where Harlem Road Barbecue is? Uh, be on Harlem Road. Harlem Road. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long road. Yeah. In New York. Did you have a good time, Bo? Oh, yeah. Always a good time with this bunch, baby. Always, Always a good time Always with this bunch. Time. I laugh more here than I do. <laughs> you love us more than you love Kathy, right? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> give y'all 50%. So, why you have me on camera? No. Kathy's my angel. Yeah, yeah. You be careful what you say, Bubba. Right. Mitch is very cautious about what he says. There's too much money involved. There's too much money involved. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to Harlem Road Barbecue. Uh, going to put the cart up. We'll see you guys there. Okay, guys. We just finished 18 holes of golf. Wow. We didn't think we were going to get it in because of the rain, but we did. Uh, we're on our way now uh, with our buddies to go to uh, 
place here in uh, Richmond called Harlem Road Barbecue. Guys, this is the best barbecue I've ever had in my life. So when I get there, I'm gonna blog, so you guys can check out Harlem Road Barbecue. It's a it's a it's a small place. Um, my our friend Danny, who played golf with us today, um, it's his cousin that owns Harlem Road Barbecue. Um, he was voted one of the top three barbecue places in Houston. Um, it's a small place, but it is absolutely worth the visit. Trust me, best brisket I've ever had. Best brisket I've ever had. So we're on our way there. When we get there, I'll uh, blog and uh, you guys will see. It's a great, great place. All right, guys. See you in a few minutes. Hey, guys. So we're getting close to Harlem Road Barbecue, which is literally um, <laughs> no more than three minutes from where we live. This barbecue place is great. Um, like I said, maybe the best brisket I've ever had. It's not a real big place. Uh, like I said, Danny's Danny's cousin owns it, and uh, but it's it's absolutely fantastic. So there it is, Harlem Road Barbecue. I'm gonna park guys and just in a second we'll be going inside okay guys I have the mask on Fort Bend County if we go inside we have to have a mask so I'm putting on the mask but uh, right now we're gonna go into Harlem Road barbecue and uh, it's gonna be amazing amazing food Where's Danny? Danny who? Danny who? Hybrid Hyatt. Hybrid Hyatt. So guys, best barbecue in Texas. Where's Danny? I just looking for him, but I just wiped his credit card. I think he's probably outside. Oh, also, okay. okay. <laughs> Man, this is a real Texas uh, kind of place here. Small, but look at the interior. Real barbecue oriented. So here we are, look, chicken, barbecue chicken, lamb chops, pork ribs, sausage, brisket, and all the sides, wow. Texas Harlem Road Barbecue, that's the place to be. So, Dino, how is it? Oh, God, it's awesome. Mm, wow. Mm. Awesome. Look at all this food. Wow. Amazing. Mm. I won't need to eat for a week, huh? And you come to Harlem Road Barbecue. That's it. Texas Harlem Road Barbecue on Harlem Road. Man, it is the <laughs> absolute best. Where is it? Dean, where's it at? I don't know. Harlem Road. <laughs> no. No, I didn't just... So, uh, Dino. Yes, sir. We're almost done. How's the barbecue? Freaking awesome. Is it it's great? It's unbelievable. It, you know, being from Texas, I, I really think it's the best I've ever had. I mean, 
It's it's the best I've had. It's the best I've had. Danny? I love it. I love it. I've been enjoying it for years, and I'm glad you guys love it. Yeah. Mitch? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. For me, best barbecue I've ever had. Best barbecue. Texas Harlem Road Barbecue. If you're in Houston, come to Richmond. Come over here to Texas Harlem Road Barbecue. It's I promise you. Yeah, uh, like Dean said, we asked Dean one time. Dean, we said, hey, we're going to go to Danny's uh, place over on uh, Danny's cousin's place over on uh, Texas Harlem Road Barbecue. Dean said, where's it at? <laughs> Dean, where's it at, Dean? Harlem Road. Harlem Road. <laughs> we uh we, we got a lot of food here but we couldn't finish it four guys four guys after a big round of golf and we could not finish all the food that we ordered <laughs> so oh i knew so if you're if you're if you're around here please come visit texas harlem road barbecue i'm telling you you will not be disappointed you will absolutely get your Wait, money. Are you best barbecue in Texas? Are you an advertising? Hey guys, just got home from playing golf and eating barbecue at Texas Harlem Road Barbecue. What a great time we had today. Hey, look guys, we hope you enjoyed being with us today. We had a lot of fun playing golf, had a lot of good food. It was really a good time. If you like this, you know what you need to do. Click here. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get our next vlogs. We'll be doing some real soon. Guys, good to be with you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, you guys take care. God bless. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Use your sanitizer. Uh, do everything you got to do to stay safe because we want to see you again. Okay? Goodbye. God bless.